Wednesday. Good morning and welcome to our daily prayers. Another line from that song we've been thinking about from Psalm 100. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. Often in the Psalms, the same line is repeated twice, the same idea. And that's really what this second line is. I will enter his courts with praise. Now you might say thanksgiving is for particular things and praise is for who God is as a whole. And so maybe in a moment, just think about one thing you can praise God for. And it's interesting, the response we say, O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The idea is the spirit helps us, so to speak, open our lips. So maybe ask the Holy Spirit for one thing you can praise God for as we begin. I'm going to say those words and then a moment for you to reflect. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And so we're going to be looking at uh, First Peter chapter 2 which is really building on this picture of God speaking to Moses about his role for Israel. But here we're just having a quick flick through to the New Testament to see our role. 1 Peter 2 verse 9. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. That is our role. In a sense, we are the new Israel, the new people of God to whom anyone is welcome to join. And because of Christ's death on the cross, we are all accepted and become that wonderful expression, his treasured possession. But our function is as priests, and that is to be aware of everybody around us, the world around us, that we can declare God's praises to them. We do that in words, we do that in our manner, we do that in the things that we do. That is our role. And if we do that with relate by relating to the world, we are effectively becoming true priests. And so maybe just dwell on that for a moment as we pray together now. You are God's special possession that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. A space now. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so as we take our prayers into the coming day, so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>